In a first-year legal writing class, the professor is explaining the procedures for scheduling individual conferences. Okay, let's talk about scheduling for individual conferences to discuss your papers. Each person will get a 15-minute time slot. If you are late, the next person will still have their conference on time so that no one's late for their next class. Rescheduling will only be permitted in case of illness or for some good reason. Timing is tight, so please be respectful of my time and of your fellow students' time, and do not be late. So, how's your paper coming along? Well, I had some questions about my research paper. I started it. Sorry, I'm late. I couldn't find your office. Anyway, I'm here now. Well, I accept your apology, Larry. But when you were late, I had to move on to the next student, so you'll have to reschedule. Why well, not, Prof? I said I was sorry. And besides, I'm here now. I'm ready for my conference. Larry, there isn't enough time for your conference without making everybody else late. Are you serious? I, I made a fool out of myself running all over this building trying to find your office, and now you're canceling my conference? I'm actually being lenient by letting you reschedule. Why don't you take a look at the sign-up sheet and see if there's any other slots that you can make this week. If not, you can email me and we can set something up for next week. I don't have time next and week to do this. please close the door behind you as you leave so that Pete and I can continue. It's ridiculous. Five minutes late, she kicks me out. Unbelievable. Larry is scheduled for oral argument on a motion in a state trial court at 1 p.m. There are three other cases scheduled for that time as is the normal practice in this court. Larry has not arrived yet, but his opposing counsel has. Your Honor, we have four cases scheduled for oral argument at one o'clock. All of the attorneys are present, except for the plaintiff's counsel in the Smith case. Defense counsel is in fact present. Okay, let's set that case aside and proceed with the other three cases. Thank you, counsel. We're going to hear the last case scheduled for argument today, Smith versus Jones. Counsel, please approach. Your Honor, opposing counsel is still not here. Have we heard anything from him? He was supposed to be here over an hour ago. No, Judge, he still hasn't called the court. I called upstairs and your secretary hasn't heard from him either. Counsel, have you attached the proposed order in accordance with this court's rules? Yes, Your Honor, it's in the back of my moving papers. Counsel, at this time, I'm prepared to rule on this motion. I'd like to note for the record that plaintiff's counsel is not present at this hearing, and defendant's motion is therefore unopposed. I'm granting defendant's motion and directing that it be placed on the court's docket today. Anything else, counsel? No, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome, counsel. Court is adjourned. Sorry, I'm late. I got held up in Judge Fox's chambers on some settlement negotiation. Then I had no idea where I was going. <laughs> Since when has Motions Court been here, not in City Hall? It's been a couple of months, I guess. Why didn't you call? I've been sitting here since 1245. What's it to you? 
You still get to bill your client for this time anyway. Yeah, well, I have other things I need to be doing. Anyway, you'll be getting a copy of the order the judge signed, granting my motion to dismiss. Wait, wait a minute, please. I'm here now, and I'm, I'm ready to proceed. While the judge is gone, even the courtroom deputy is gone. You really should have called. Thank you. Hi, I'm Larry Davis. I'm representing Sally Smith in the Smith v. Jones matter. Counsel, your argument was scheduled for 1 o'clock. The judge granted the motion. At this point, you're going to have to file a motion for reconsideration. But I was in a settlement with Judge Fox, and I wasn't aware that Judge Peril had moved her courtroom. She moved here several months ago. It's in the court directory. And the judge's name was pronounced Perel, not Peril. Uh, but just for future reference, you need to know that the judge's name is now Judge Cooper. All I can tell you is you need to file that motion and make sure you address it to Judge Cooper.